Hi friends, welcome back. So it's a rainy, nasty day. We have some bad weather moving in. So I wanted to show you all one, a family favorite, one pot meal. And it's basically what you already have in your house. Um, it's so easy. And all you gotta do is make, put this on for put it in your crock pot, or you can do it like me and just put it on the stove top. Um, and basically it's everything out of my garden that I already have. Um, except the ham, of course. The ham is left over from a New Year's Day dinner that I just popped in the freezer. But let me show you how we put it together. And we're also gonna make some cornbread to go with it. So, I'm just gonna take two cans of green beans, and if you don't have home can, that's fine. Just use out of the store. And then I have some potatoes out of our garden. Um, some of these are red and some are white, and this is basically all I have left out of our summer garden potatoes. Definitely need to grow more this year than just a 50 pound bag. But I'm gonna add my ham in. Okay. And I'm gonna drain the green beans and rinse them. I'll be right back. So I'm gonna go ahead and add in the drained and wash, I rinse them because I put a little bit of salt on my green beans, so I rinse them. So it's two cans of green beans. I'm gonna add six cups of water. So that was three, I'll get three more. I'm gonna go ahead and, my butter was frozen. Let's see. And keep the butter up. Now if you have chicken stock or vegetable stock or any kind of um, stock you need to use up, it would be good too. I have some chicken bone broth, but it's frozen. So I'm just gonna use water. There's quite a bit of ham in here. It'll make a good broth. All right, now I'm just gonna wash up all these potatoes. Okay, I just got a lot of the bad spots off of these. They are homegrown potatoes and we don't Put pesticides on so sometimes you do get a little bit of bug damage but i'm gonna slice these up i'm just gonna slice them up thinly add them in here and i gotta add my other three cups of water Do you prefer the Yukon Gold potatoes or a, like a or a, a red potato? My family prefers the red and I prefer the Yukon or the Kennebec. I think these are Kennebec. These are the red, I have red Pontiacs and the Kennebec here. So I'm gonna put a little bit of each so everybody can have one they like. Okay, last one. This one has a bad spot, so I'm just gonna cut that out. I've always heard real food is dirty, and I believe that. You do have to wash your dirt off of it, you do have to cut out bad spots, but um, It's okay. The taste to me is superior. So I'm gonna add some salt, which the ham is salty. Add some pepper. You can add onion in this too. You know what? I may go ahead and add onion. Okay, I just grabbed a small onion. I'm gonna go ahead and Put this in here. I made this one time for my husband's uh, family reunion. Um, it's actually called a cemetery meat in here. And um, everybody was like, who made this? Who made this? And I was like, well, it, is it good or bad? And they said, it's good. And I was like, okay, I did. I wasn't going to claim it if it was bad. Okay, so 
There we go. We're gonna add three more cups of water, so six cups in total. So here is the last three cups of water. Just gonna put the cook for about two hours on medium, like on low heat. Okay, so now we're gonna make some cornbread. I've just got my cast iron skillet. I'm gonna put some shortening in it. Okay, I'm gonna put some shortening in it. And I'm gonna, I've got the oven preheating to 425. You just get your um, cast iron skillet hot. And that'll give you a good crispy crust. So now I'm going to do one egg. You might hear a dinosaur in the background. I'm going to do one cup of self rising flour. I just use this cornmeal. Two cups of that of the cornmeal. And do you use sugar in yours? Because we do. We like sugar in our cornbread. And I put a half a cup of sugar. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then about two tablespoons of vegetable oil or any kind of oil you want to put in there. Lard. You can melt down some lard. About a cup and a half of milk. Cup milk. Yeah, do you want some milk? Thank you. This milk curry. That's sugar. Um, this I'm just gonna milk. stir it in. Stir it in. Yep. Yeah. In the cornbread. Uh -huh. In the sugar. Uh -huh. Mm-hmm. Uh, cornmeal oh, for cornbread. I love cornbread. I love cornbread. Yes, Nayla loves cornbread. I love cornbread. Yes, she loves cornbread. Yes. Okay, it's nice and hot. I'm gonna go ahead add this in. I'm gonna bake it on 420. Um, for about 20 minutes. Thank you. See the way it kind of puffs up the edges where it's hot. Give you a good crispy crust. So this is after 20 minutes on 420. All right, there we go. Nice crispy cornbread. There you go. So I'm gonna make an easy dessert with our one pot meal, and I'm just gonna use these apples that need to be used up, some um, cinnamon rolls that are near date or past date, nope, not yet. And all you do is peel your apples. So I'm gonna get them peeled and quartered up, and I'll show you how I'm gonna do it. You preheat your oven to 350. So in this saucepan, we're gonna add two cups of water half a stick of butter, my butter's froze, you can tell, you're going to quarter up these apples, or dice them, I'm going to add these over, we're going to add one cup of brown sugar, and we're going to let this cook on medium high heat, stirring it until it thickens. And that's gonna coat the bottom of the cake pan. And then we're gonna quarter up our, um, I'm gonna add a dash of salt too. And we're gonna quarter up our cinnamon rolls and then put that on so it's like a bubble up. All right, and you also need one block of cream cheese and one cup of powdered sugar. 
So I've got it just cooking down. It'll take about 15 minutes to cook down and for the apples to soften. So now I'm gonna go ahead and pour this in after it's thickened. This on the bottom. And we're just gonna cut this up and fill in. Over. And after this bite, what? You're not gonna fall. You want Dale? Okay, so still. All right. Now after this has baked about 15 minutes, um, you'll take a softened block of cream cheese and a cup of powdered sugar and you'll get this out of the oven. You'll spread that over top, I'll show you. And then you'll put it back in for another 10 minutes. You can also do this with canned biscuits or your homemade um, dough. Just make sure you got a little bit of this everywhere to soak up all that good flavor. Hey, David. It is cooking. You can also use the um, pie filling, the apple pie filling, just to make it a little easier. But it's gonna go in the oven on 350 for 15 minutes. Okay, so now I'm gonna add the cream cheese. Cream cheese. Watch out, this is hot. Cream cheese. Cream cheese. Yep, cream cheese. <laughs> And the powdered sugar. This has powdered sugar also. One block of cream cheese and one. You'll just smooth it out. May take a minute to get everything smoothed out. Then it goes back in the oven for 10 more minutes. And How thick that got. Nice and thick. And then put it back in the oven. This is really nice and creamy. You could add ice cream, but I think it's just fine just like this because it's rich. There you go. This is so good. You should try it.